key, so the key to these kinds of pictures is that you don't move the camera. Right now, I've got my camera stock still. Why? Because it's attached to my laptop. With you guys, you guys are going to be using um, our tripods or in some way bracing yourself so that you don't move the camera around. Um, even if you have a friend sit really still with a the camera, there's always going to be some slight movement, and you don't want that for this effect because it makes it harder to match up. So even if your friend is keeping perfectly still, they may get distracted, they may sneeze, they may cough. Even breathing can change how they're holding it. So you really want to use something that <coughs> ensures that your camera's in the same position, in the same place, whether that's a tripod or whether that's a holder that you can prop something up with, or in some other way, making sure that something's holding up your camera so it's not moving. Once you've got your camera set up, you want to make an imaginary line that you don't cross. Because the key with this is you don't want yourself to overlap in either of the pictures. So I'm going to draw an imaginary line here around the white edge of this white board over here and make sure I don't cross it. So I'm going to take two pictures myself, arguing with myself, one on one side, one on the other. Click. <laughs> so, I've got my two pictures. Let me take that into Affinity Photo now. And it's not very difficult to handle these. These are really simple to put together with the skills we already have. So I'm going to take these, I'm going to put them down here, and then I'm going to open these up. So there's me on one side, me on the other side. To put yourself together, it's really simple, especially because of the way that we set up the camera. All you have to do is highlight yourself. Use your selection tool, draw a box around your side, make sure you're not crossing the line. Oh, turn off the light. So I've selected myself with the square selection tool. I'm going to copy, and then I'm just going to paste, like we've done in the past. And you'll notice that goes really well together. As long as I'm not over myself, it should be very unnoticeable. However, even with the picture not moving, you'll notice there's a slight line. Does everyone see that line there? You can simply blend that in, take a eraser, make sure it's got a soft edge. And just erase the line. Just make sure, you, again, you've got a soft edge and it should blend in relatively well. So there we go. Here's a picture of myself with myself. Of note, of note, when you're doing this, you can actually have multiple copies of yourself, not just two. The limitation is just your space. I've seen students make it so that they're sitting in every seat in the senior lounge. Yeah, you just have to be really careful with your positioning and how you take the picture. So this is less hard work in affinity and more hard work in your planning and positioning. So we'll be doing this, I'll be going over exactly what we're going to be doing in the picture and like the point of the picture next time we're together. But here's the basic process of how to put yourself in with yourself. David? So there's, I guess you could say you would call that example, but if you think video, would it be the same way as we did this? Vaguely. Um, video, of course, you have to account for movement. So that's a little bit harder. Can we show it?